Hi everyone, back to today's video. So as we all know, the powerful bites of the lions, tigers and leopards can make their prey suffocate and be defeated in just a short moment. However, there is a beast that possesses the strongest bite and has sharp teeth that can rip the flesh off its enemies. So who are they? And we won't let you wait any longer, so let's find out now. as the wild dogs attack the antelope. In the wilds of Africa, there is a prominent force, and even the notorious predators such as lions, hyenas, leopards and crocodiles must be somewhat wary of them. Yes, it is the wild dog, as those who are known as the best hunters and the masters of the art of hunting in the grasslands and savannah as it is not natural that they are favoured with the name the Wild Dog, as they have had to go through countless hunts and mark victories on many battlefields to be able to exist and be famous until now. And the antelope attacks will be the best demonstrating. As this time, the kudu was the prey that the Wild Dogs were aiming for, as the prey has a size of up to 250 kilograms, and many times larger than that of the wild dog. And in particular, they possess the spiral shaped horns up to about 1.8 meters long. And with all the inherent advantages, can the kudu run away from these wild dogs? As it is not difficult for the predators to surround and defeat their prey. But with the advantage of numbers, the wild dogs quickly launch the powerful bites to make the prey painfully exhausted and they had to lie still for them to enjoy. And tormented by the wild dogs from all sides, the kudu could only suffer and accept its fate. As the confidence in the wild dogs attack come from the highest predation rate in Africa that they have. While the lion's hunting success rate is only about 27 to 30 percent. And the rate in the African wild dogs is up to 80 percent, a figure that must be said to be horribly high. As the African wild dogs can be said to be the artisans in hunting. As not only that, but each individual has the extremely high personal skills, discipline and cohesion. And according to statistics from scientists, the wild dogs have the strongest bite among all the carnivorous mammals. As a combination of all these factors have created a united, strong wild dog community and that is threat to any animal in Africa. And in this hunting phase, an ill-fated waterbuck had to accept and become a meal for the whole herd of wild dogs. As they bite and they rip out the organs of their prey to enjoy. And despite the exaggerating pain of the prey, the whole pack of wild dogs was still mercilessly tearing the meat apart to eat. As it is known that when hunting, the wild dogs often gather in larger herds with a number of about 20. And can they completely defeat a prey? many times larger than themselves. And to be able to successfully hunt a prey, all the members of the herd need to have a smooth coordination as they plan to isolate the targeted prey from its flock and they then gather their strength and force to attack as the next bad guy in this hunt is the wildebeest. As still the familiar attack and the results you probably already guessed as there is not a slim chance for the wildebeest. So poor. And with good eyesight and endurance, the wild dogs can chase their prey continuously within a radius of 8 kilometers, with the fastest possible speed up to 66 kilometers per hour. And while most carnivores like lions or leopards rely on the camouflage to quietly approach and take down their prey, the African wild dog rarely have to use this tactic, 
as they are born to conquer their prey, bait by chasers. Usually, they will chase their prey until they are exhausted and collapse, and no longer able to fight back, and then they kill them. However, this time, the prey was extremely fast, as a water bug had rushed into the water to escape. But unfortunately for the water bug, when the aggressive hippos did not like this appearance, they had rushed to attack and drove the water bug out of their territory. And will this water bug survive when both in the water and on the shore, there are people waiting for it? And although we know that the success rate of wild dogs are very high, those numbers mostly come from the territorial hunting. And because they are always swamp killers waiting in the water, so the wild dogs rarely venture into the water to chase and attack the prey, as it just stands on the shore in ambush, waiting and taking advantage of every opportunity. And when they see their prey is ashore, and because of this, the herbivores often run into the water or soak in the rivers to prevent the pursuit of the wild dogs. As it can be seen, that this bug is being ambushed by a herd of wild dogs and hippos. As it can't go ashore, nor dare to go into the deeper lake, as the wild dogs at this time only knew how to threaten, but they did not dare to step down to attack their prey. As they were forced to stand and to watch their prey being taken away by others, Undeniably, but the wild dogs are one of the best predators in the vast African savanna, as they have a remarkable collective strength and extremely top-notch synergy. And still, they know that animals are intelligent, flexible and have great hunting strategies. But there are times when the wild dogs fail in their careless hunting phases and even get attacked by other predators and eaten as who dares to attack the wild dogs? Please comment the animals that can defeat and eat the wild dogs that you know of down below in the comment section. As today's video ends here. Thank you all so much for watching this video and don't forget to press the subscribe button in the corner of the screen and like and share this video to support us. And for now, goodbye and see you in the next video.